right, learning from educational history. Uh, knowing about our educational past can help you take advantage of past educational successes and avoid repeating some past educational failures. You'll do this on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll do this on a year-to-year -year basis. There should also be uh, always be a check and balance type um, um, evaluation of yourself. Did this work? Did it not work? And everything you try will not work. Um, and some things will surprise you when they do work. And just because they work with this group doesn't mean they'll work with another group. And just because they work today don't mean they'll work tomorrow. Um, so there's a constant looking at not only our past history and where we've come from and things that we've changed and ways we've gotten better, but also just the day-to-day. -day. So just know there's always a check and balance type situation that should be going on in your teaching career. Uh, never stop pushing yourself and building new things and trying new things and looking for new things and attending workshops on new things. Um, let's don't get complacent in an area and stop right there because if that had happened, then there would be um, there wouldn't be as many people living with cancer right now or beating the odds or whatever if we hadn't taken the leap and kept trying for something better, something better.